Hi everybody, I'm Lisa with Marmalade. And I'm Jade with Marmalade. And today we're gonna to show you how to use the keyword comparison tool. So if you wanna compare a list of keywords and see which one is gonna come out on top, the comparison tool was actually created to help you do just that. Uh, but before we dive in, I'm first gonna show you how to find the comparison tool. So on this main Marmalade screen right here, you're just gonna go over to your left-hand side menu and click on the comparison tool. And then you're gonna be presented with um, these four search bars that will allow you to type in four different keywords um, and you'll get some results. Awesome, so how does it work exactly? Well, just like I said, you're gonna simply type in a keyword into those search bars at the top of each column, and then you're gonna click the magnifying glass on each of those and then sit back and wait for the results. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. What keywords do you think we should use? Um, why don't we start with organic soap? Organic soap. And then, what next? Do you think maybe coffee soap? Sure. Don't know what that is, but we'll find out if it's a good keyword. What next? Uh, handmade soap. Handmade soap. And soap bar. Soap bar. <laughs> and then go back and click these magnifying glasses and wait for the results to roll in. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Perfect timing. So comparison is going to return uh, Marmometer results, which is going to show you search volume, engagement, and competition for each word. Um, you're also going to be able to see pricing information um, a little bit further down. Um, you're going to see average renewal stats for each word you compare, uh, plus a lot of information uh, that's going to help you just figure out if this word is going to be right and a good word, a good keyword to move forward with. Awesome. So can I get a breakdown of what each of these sections are exactly? Sure. So these marometers, they're kind of what pop up first. And they're, like I said, going to allow you to easily tell which keywords are scoring higher in terms of engagement, competition, and search volume. So let's look at this word organic soap. You have one to 2,000 unique searches being done um, on the keyword organic soap. And then you go on and have three to 4,000, um, that's the number range for engagement. That's really good, that's what you wanna see. That means that one to 2,000 unique searches are happening and then within those searches, people are going on to um, view and visit listings at almost double the rate at which each search happens. So that means that they're interacting with multiple listings um, within the results of that particular search. That's a great thing. And then also the competition level for this keyword is very reasonable. So that looks like a fantastic keyword. Um, if we look at handmade soap, for example, um, it's got a really great level of search volume between two and 3,000 unique searches. But with the engagement being so low, what that means is that a lot of times folks are typing that handmade soap keyword in, and then the results of that search are coming back and they're thinking that's really not what I'm looking for. Um, so they're not um, oftentimes engaging with the results of the search. In fact, they're actually like going back to the drawing board and not engaging very much with those results. And then on top of that, the competition for this keyword is very high. Uh, so you might want to think, you know, pretty long and hard before applying this keyword um, to your listing. Okay, so if we move down in your results a little bit, we get into pricing. So the pricing breakdown is going to allow you to tell um, where your products are going to fall using this keyword um, in the pricing spectrum. So you get to sort of see uh, where other products are falling all the way from bargain price to premium price and be able to sort of compare yours to those products um, and sort of see where your product will or should fall into the mix. Uh, moving down just a little bit more, we're looking at average renewal. And average renewals are showing you how long it's been since the top performing listings for this keyword were created uh, or renewed. And that'll just kind of give you an idea or a feel for how much recency matters for this type of listing, and also sort of give you an idea about how aggressive your uh, renewal strategy should be for this particular listing if you're targeting this keyword. And then of course, uh, last but not least, you have top tags. So top tags, they're just letting you see uh, the top tags for listings targeting each of these four keywords. Um, so yeah, those are your different categories of results in the comparison tool. Awesome. So is there anything else that I should know? Yeah, so definitely we always recommend 
um, once you find some really great keywords in the comparison tool, um, you should always move forward and go ahead and put those through the search tool as well, because the search tool is going to return even more awesome information about each of these keywords. Uh, but we'll go over the search tool in a different video. Um, so yeah, if you do have any more questions about the comparison tool, you can always feel free to reach out to us at success at marmalade.com. And one of our um, team members will be more than willing to answer any additional questions that you might have about comparison. Cool. Thanks so much, Lisa. You're welcome.